I'm guessing this alarm means good job at work today, everybody. It's time to go home. Why is the boss's head exploding? Go back to work. I don't understand. It's five o'clock. It's home time. Look, I know I'm new here, but is it usual for the boss to chase you at the end of the day? What just happened? How did I end up back in my cubicle? I must have been dreaming or something, because I could have sworn that the boss man clapped me around the ears. Yeah, I was probably just napping and dreaming like my colleague here, because there's no way that would really happen, right? Okay, possibly wrong. I said go back to work. My pals, I'm beginning to get the impression that my new dream job might be a nightmare. I would like to clarify with the boss, and I do realize this probably isn't the best time while he's chasing me down the hallway, but I'm wondering, are you planning on paying me for this extra work? Do I get overtime? What are the working conditions? He doesn't care. Okay, I might just get in the elevator. Uh-oh, he's coming. Did he just make a splat? Phew, that was close. Yeah, super close. And if I thought the boss was mad before, that's probably nothing compared to how mad he's gonna be now that he's flown like a bird into a window. Oh good, I see he has deployed the lasers. Now look, when I started working here at Amazon, it's not like I thought it was gonna be the best job in the world, but I didn't think they would actually lock me inside my office. But here we are, day number one, and I can't just leave at five o'clock like a normal job. Oh no, that would be far too easy. Instead, the big boss chases me with flames coming out of his head, and then I have to jump over a series of enormous filing cabinets. And naturally, there's no union, so I guess that means it's just up to me to try to get out of work alive? It is suddenly dawning on me why it was so easy to get this job. Turns out that nobody wants to work for Scary McBossman. Like, look at this, five o'clock and the hallway's open and uh-oh, who's in the elevator? Oh no, not Flamin' McBossman. Hey, come back! All right, but all I have to say to that is run! You're not gonna catch me working for free. And I don't care how glowing red your eyes are. Server, activate the traps. Oh no, not the traps. Ow! This is a lot of effort just to squeeze a bit of extra work out of me. Couldn't you just ask nicely and compensate me fairly? You know what? Stuff this. I'm going in the vent. Ooh, that made him angry. Angry boss. I can't tell if he is not able to climb up here or if maybe he's scared of the vent. Either way, the safety of the vent, unparalleled. Anyway, I'm starting to have some pretty serious doubts about working here. Give this video a thumbs up if you think I should quit this job. Huh, okay, I was kind of hoping that this vent would lead to the parking lot and not a spike pit, but no such luck. Also, I kind of am starting to worry about my colleague who I left just like sleeping back at their desk. Perhaps I should have invited them on this escape mission, but I didn't really know that we were going to end up in this situation. I guess I could always put it in an email. Oh my gosh, what are these lasers? It's like you start working in like a regular office park, you don't expect there to be so many lasers. In fact, I think the normal amount of lasers is usually zero. I'm gonna say that's the second biggest surprise at my new job, the first obviously being the fact that I am not allowed to leave apparently. But you know what? I don't think that flamey head McBoss man should be allowed to get away with this. I think he's just taking advantage of people, hoping that nobody's gonna say anything. But you cannot just ask people to work endlessly without paying them. I think it's time someone stood up to him, even though that sounds scary. And I hate confrontation. But I feel like if I don't do it, then who will? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think I should stand up to my mean boss and tell him what I really think? Or do you think that I should just run away with my tail between my legs? Probably there are some other options or maybe something in between that I haven't thought of, but I'm not really sure. So let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm going to see how I go, but unfortunately, I think I might have to be a very brave girl. Maybe I'll bolster my confidence with a bit of parkour, jumping from pipe to pipe. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so athletic. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm, oh, no, I'm fine. Hmm, if I'm going to confront my boss, I need to think about what I'm going to say. I need to practice it. I might need like a script or something. I've only been here a day. I've already got like a list of grievances. I think everything's pretty reasonable. Like number one on the list, don't trap me. Number two on the list, don't chase me. Um, and number three on the list, less lasers. I'm not asking for the world. Well, this looks interesting and also very dangerous. I guess I am having a hard time imagining what led to the construction of this particular system. Like, what is the logic here? You're like trying to get to work at the mail center, but first you have to cross over a spike pit um, using some floating platforms. I'm gonna need somebody to walk me through how this ended up getting the green light. Like, who looked at this and was like, great, perfect, go right ahead, exactly as I planned. I cannot think of a better system for people to cross the spike pit room. Anyway, I guess we're learning that maybe they don't care heaps about their employees. Oh, thank goodness, finally something that looks like an office. I was starting to worry that I was gonna be trapped in spike pit purgatory forever.
Uh, actually, just kidding. More spike bits. Oh my gosh, except for this time, I will be traversing them by floating above giant industrial fans. Okay, finally, we've reached the distribution center. I think I'm going to distribute myself. Might just see if I can deliver myself to my house with Amazon Prime. Like if I package myself up nicely in a box and address it to my house, do you think I will be able to get one day shipping? Hey, 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 they'll never know. Oh, unless they know. Huh, okay, I forgot about the surveillance of it all, so I guess the boss probably knows exactly what I'm up to. Oh, that's not good. That means he might be waiting for me around any corner. That means he might know about my Amazon Prime idea. Uh-oh, okay, we're back in the office. Yeah, I'm gonna say that the boss might be on to me on account of all the bear traps. There's a lot of bear traps to be in the storage room. I love how every single piece of art in this office is just a picture of the boss. Just like threatening portraits. Oh my gosh, more security measures? They are out of control. Look at these spotlights. Now it's starting to make sense why they can't afford to pay me for overtime. They're blowing it all on the security budget. Do we think this is an exit? Please be an exit, please be an exit. Those look like feet. Hey, 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 hey I caught ya. Oh no, it all went black. You are catched. Oh no, help, I've been catched. Oh, he real mad now. Don't you dare try to escape from me again. I really don't like how he blinks. And I will be watching you the whole capital T time. Okay, I mean, you say that, but then you immediately go to sleep. Cool, cool, I guess while Mr. Bossman is honk shooing there behind the glass, I can find a way to escape. I love how his management strategy is just to write work three times on a board, lock me in here, and then fall asleep. Is that seriously what they're teaching you in management training? If I were teaching the class, it would be mostly vents. Oh dang, I need some hammer if I'm gonna break this vent. Hmm, anyone got a hammer I can use? Ah, there we go, I'll just take this one. Convenient that someone left that right here. Also the box and the filing cabinet. Very convenient. It's all working out for me pretty well. I might just bash this thing in. Hope that didn't wake him up. Okay, no time to run. Better just slide on my face. Barreling towards freedom. Skidding to safety. Oh, that actually did really hurt. <laughs> All right, no more face sliding for the rest of the day. I love that there's just like a package here that somebody's left in the vent, just abandoned it randomly. I guess that's not getting to his destination. Oh, what the? How did I end up at the sewer? Okay, now it's even more confusing that that package was abandoned here, just abandoned next to the sewer grate, I suppose. But you know what? Maybe this isn't half bad. Like if I had to choose between being chased by my terrifying boss and being stuck in the sewer, I might choose the sewer. It's really a matter of what you find easier to deal with, you know, something scary or something stinky. And that obviously is a personal choice. Let me know in the comment section what you prefer. Are you team scare or team stink? Like by the time I get home, I have a feeling I'm going to smell like the garbage can at the dog park, but at least I won't be screaming in terror. Holy, look at that wall. Is that like a like a sewage waterfall? That is disgusting, actually. The less said about that, the better. Oh, and this doesn't look good. Now there's sewage all over the floor. That's it. That's the final straw. I am definitely handing in my notice. In fact, I've only worked here for one day. I don't even know if I need to hand in my notice. I just want to get out of here and never come back. Oh, no, a powerful gust. A powerful wind. Oh, oh no, oh, no. I got to get through the doorway. Okay, this is stressful. And what am I supposed to do here? How does one get the cross? Oh, whoa. Luckily, these pallets are here. That's actually quite good. I think I can get across no problem. Didn't even get any stink on my feet. Finally, a win. Imagine if I had to go through the trauma of this day, but in addition to all that, I had like really, really smelly, wet sneakers. Like that could have been the straw that broke the camel's back, you know? That might have just pushed me over the edge. <gasps> oh, okay. Is this an elevator? Will this bring me back out of the sewer? That would be wonderful. I am a bit worried that this is just gonna deposit me right back in my office. Or worse, into my boss's office. Probably should have thought of that before I pressed the button. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Ha ha ha, here I am, it's me. Is anyone waiting? Anyone hiding in the shadows? Might just climb up here just in case anybody is coming in. I have lost trust in those rolly doors. I've been burnt before. Oh my gosh, lol, and another abandoned package. If you've ever not received a package and you were wondering where it went, it's like probably in a sewer. Oh my gosh, what? This leads to another vent? I feel like this office is like 90% vent. At least I'm above ground now. Ooh, is that the sky? Is that freedom? Freedom above? What is this feeling? Is it hope? It is hope. I might just escape after all. Sure hope I pack my climbing equipment. Looks like I might have to belay over this building. Or maybe I can find a parachute. Is this building tall enough for me to base jump off? 
yeah, that's probably something I'm gonna need to figure out pretty quickly, because if I know my boss, he'll probably, yeah, be here soon. All right, enough, you will over now. Actually, no, Mr. Boss Man, because I am confronting you, okay? I will not enough be over now, because I'm standing up to you when your, do your shoes look like potatoes? Potatoes are not, it ends here. It ends now. Hey, hey you, can I get a ride? I've had a really bad day, and if you drop me home, I'll buy you a Slurpee. Oh my gosh, is that... <gasps> it's my coworker. They came back for me. Hey, let's get out of this place. Okay, fantastic idea. You're my new best friend, obviously. We have heaps to learn about each other. I didn't know that you could drive a helicopter, for example. So is this like what you do for your daily commute? It's pretty cool. Maybe we can carpool. I usually cycle. But if you're going this way anyway with the helicopter... Actually, just kidding. I'm quitting this job. And I think you should, too. Yeah, pull up that ladder. We've got to go job hunting. To whom it may concern. 